Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are at the American Association for Thoracic Surgery Conference in Los Angeles, California. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Bo Yang, who is a leading cardiac surgeon at Michigan Medicine in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Dr. Yang, thanks so much for being with us today. My pleasure. Yeah, yeah. so we've got to talk. I'm real excited to learn all about the Y incision annular expansion procedure. But before we talk about this, who would this procedure of the patients in our community, who might benefit from this? Oh, that's a great question. And um, all patients who need a aortic valve replacement from whatever reasons, such as aortic stenosis, aortic insufficiency, infection of the uh, aortic valve, which destroys the aortic valve, and the annulus is normal, it's not dilated, we cannot feed the large valve should have this procedure. Great, so patients might be wondering, what is the procedure and why did you create it? <laughs> yeah, the, the procedure is called the Y incision annular enlargement. Basically, we incise the aortic annulus in an inverted Y fashion, and we enlarge the annulus. We can upsize the valve by three to five valve sizes, and at the same time, enlarge the root. So why patients need this, this procedure? Because this does add the operative time and uh, challenge complexity to the operation. The reason for that is we find out the uh, real opening of the artificial valve, including mechanical valve and the tissue valve, is smaller, much smaller than the navel. For example, the most common valve used in the United States is size 23. And it doesn't mean this valve has an opening of 23. After we put the valve in, the opening of the valve is about 16, 17 millimeter, which reduces the annular area by 40 to 60 percent. So that's why those small valves also doesn't last long because you already reduce the area by, by 40, 60 percent, won't take too long, becomes stenotic. Patient doesn't get the, the, the most benefit from the operation. Instead, we, all, we can for say patients have 23 annulus, we do the enlargement, we give patients a 29 valve, which has the opening about 23, 24, matches the patient's native annulus. We basically turn the biological clock to patients when they were 19, 18 with the normal aortic valve and the restore the normal anatomy of the, 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 the open, uh, opening, the anatomy of the aortic valve. That's why I give best, uh, best hemodynamic outcome, best long-term survival, and also the improve the longevity of the valve and, the, and this great setup of future valve in valve tava. Well, I love the fact that you're turning the biological clock back on the aortic valve. And I love that the patients are getting advantages for hemodynamics, longevity, survivability. And you brought up the fact that you're setting up the patients for the lifetime management of their valve disease for a potential TAVR down the road using, I'm guessing, a valve and valve technique? Yeah, yeah. So because of the annular enlargement, the enlarge the root too. So it, we did a CT study or after the, uh, the, this procedure, we found out the, the coronary distance from the valve is actually very adequate. And the STG is wide open, which means the aorta is wide open. Those are the critical measurements for the valve in valve type. So our interventional cardiologists love it because they look at the anatomy of the valve uh, enlargement and say, wow, this is so easy to put the valve in valve type. So it's very good for patients in the future when the valve goes down, say, 20 years, and it's very easy just to do a minimal invasive valve in valve tower and avoid another stenotomy. Well, I had not thought about you working directly with the interventional cardiologist down the road, and it's just one more advantage of the Y incision procedure. And so Dr. Yang, on behalf of our community, patients all, all over the world, thanks for all the great work that you and your team are doing at Michigan Medicine in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Thanks so much for being with us today. Well, thank you for having me. I think you know, the patient deserves the best care. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.